Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 19 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we will create the product list page. Like we have created that category list page in our previous video, and we have seen that how we can uh, link the pages with the router. So it will it will it will go to page without reloading the browser, right? So when we click on the categories, it will show the all categories page when we click on the home it will go to home page and the url is changing also okay so we have uh, applied the react router dom package and with that we are using this okay in the same way we will create our product list page right so at the home page you can see that product list product list page will be similar to this we will add the add to card and wish list add the title and the price okay and the next uh, after the product list we will create the product detail page but in the next video right so let's create that okay so let's open the a vs code right and i will open one more thing the uh, doc file in which we have introduced the feature so these all things has been done right all right so these all done and uh, all category list is done now we are going to create all product list okay so it will be according to category and all product list okay so it's better let's create the product list according to the category right so let's see that how we can pass the parameter okay so in the front end uh, we we will open the source we will open the components right and here we have a home page uh, let's go to categories actually right so in the categories when we click on the when we click on this category title it will show us all the product in that category right so let's create that so what i will do i will create new and save here and let's say category products dot js okay function category products okay and then return we will return the data let's say h1 okay so category product list right and then we will export this export default category products all right and uh, then what we will do so these are category products okay in this we will fetch all the category uh, all the products of that specific category okay so we need to create a router for this okay so let's create let's go to source here we have a app.js and in the from the component we will copy the here we have let's say this is category products category products and here we have category products right and we will copy this and paste here and we will say category slash here we will add the slug slash and then we will add the id so this will be our category id right so this is category id and uh, yeah this is category slug this is fine okay and then category products okay so when we will pass this uh, structure then it will show this component so from the categories we have a link here so from link this is our category title so what i will do i will say category slash python slash one okay so this will match the structure so what is our structure the category and the category slug which is in our case it's python and category id right so when we click on this it should show uh, category products page right so when we click on this uh, this is showing okay let me see uh, category where is it is okay this one i have i have given the link at actually right place but should uh, i should give on the top right so here all right so when we click on this it is showing category product list click on this categories click on this category product list okay so 
in the category product list let's open our home page currently we are designing the layouts later we will fetch the data from our api right so latest products so what i will do i will copy whole thing here and paste it here right so what we need to do okay so this is saying it should be category name so let's say um, empty empty tag because it needs it needs wrapper right so we will add here okay now it is saying logo is not defined okay let's fetch the logo in the category products right and uh, everything else is same actually this should be in the container let's add here in the container class container right and uh, this will be close here right and then margin top 4 yes okay so we'll say here we don't need this okay so we'll say category name so what we will say python python products right python products uh, and we will highlight this so for highlighting i will add a span tag right and in the span tag i will do class text danger okay so python products or you can say success so it will match our color right so python products okay and these are the products okay so this is our uh, product list page let's implement one more thing here get bootstrap i just want to implement the pagination pagination style so example uh, no example docs pagination uh, pagination component is that overview so this is our pagination working with icon uh, let's working with icon this is looking nice okay so nav and this is our product list so in the container after the after the data we'll say pagination here okay and let's define this pagination here we are right so this is our pagination example okay so this is our pagination let's apply this pagination on the uh, categories also right so this is our section section container md mt4 hmm. so we'll say here nav all right so when we go to categories it will also show the pagination one more thing let's make the same standard so we will do section here also section okay so this is our section what is this section is not ending here oh this should be div this should be section all right so we have created our let's give a link on the home page uh, in the header also so let's open our header dot file header dot js file so here we have a header dot js file we have a link uh, we have a home let's define this okay let's define this link here link okay and then give a to here okay so this will also open the home page so home page categories everything is working right and uh, on view all products we can show all the products instead of specific category right so we'll also do that but let's do one more thing that is important when you click on this categories and when you click on this category title it is showing all the products right but but 
what we need to do i am just going to create a separate content uh, component for this box okay so let's create that okay so let's create and we'll say uh, product single product let's say product uh, yeah single product single product dot js okay here we are okay single product dot js okay and uh, this is our box uh, this is our box okay so i'll copy this let's remove all of the things from here and let's single product paste here actually let's create the functional component single product okay and then uh, return paste here okay and then export default single product right so this is our single product and in the product in the category products what we will do we will import single product from single product right and instead of we are showing uh, adding here div we will add single product right so this is our single product uh, logo is not defined so we'll need to keep the logo here all right so this is single product now when you copy this paste here you can paste many more okay so this will show like this okay now we can manage everything from here we can manage and we will do the same thing on the home page we can do okay so you can for your practice you can implement this on home page okay this is a short you you know short task for you that import this single product on the home page and add here okay now one more important thing that i'm going to introduce you suppose this is category and uh, this category name is uh, let's say this category name is uh, pipe uh, where is the categories here we have a categories let's say the first category name is python okay so this is python okay so when you click on this python it should show python here okay or or we can just uh, we can uh, change this title product title every time so how we can do that in the product title here you can see uh, this is product or we can say title equal to title equal to we can say django project right so we are passing the title here it means we are passing the properties here properties can also be known as props okay so in the single products we will say props right and from the props we will say here props dot title right so here you can see that this is showing django pro uh, product okay and if we add here the title paste here i hope you are understanding everything right so this is all changed right if i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 
from the category and we are we have passed the uh, child data uh, we have passed the parent data into the child okay we are passing the data right uh, with the help of props okay so uh, i hope you you understood all the things if you have any query any doubt then please add in the comment section and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this uh, okay so this is code artisan lab and uh, for your practice you can download the django projects from projectsplaza.com okay so this will be you know good support for me so you can download that okay so from here you can download okay this is not very costly but it's a you know very uh, okay price okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel share this video like this video all of your support you know we can do anything so thank you so much thank you